the place is Mandalay Bay. The convention is Las Vegas Licensing Expo, one of my very favorite shows in Las Vegas, and it has not been here for a couple years due to COVID. I had to show my vaccination certificate to get in, but I don't have to wear a mask. Some do, some don't. So here we go, Licensing Expo 2022. Licensing Expo is a show that showcases all of the brands that you may be interested in to put on t-shirts and all kinds of products. So this is a very colorful show. Um, Warner Brothers is here big time. They have a lot of characters that they um, will license. And of course, if you want to put a Warner Brothers character on your t-shirt, you pay. Licensing Expo is a business-to-business -business meeting and you can see lots of conversations here even though we are in the last day of the three. Their names are here in addition to Warner Brothers right across the way we have Paramount. I wasn't familiar with this name, Zag, and I was told that Zag is the creator of these cartoon characters, and they've been around for a while, says the lady behind the booth, and they are expanding. So I do know the name of Katy Perry, so I guess Zag is on its way. Oh, is here from Japan, so this is a worldwide exposition. BBC Studios is here. I love BBC, and um, I'm not sure I'm familiar with all the videos they have here. Oh my goodness, they must have some uh, out of this world videos, as well as Bluey, who has a big poster here. And BBC has Doctor Who as a brand. Next to BBC is PBS Kids. Well, we know about that, or we did, <laughs> when we were younger. And um, we're looking at their booth. Okay, here are some of their characters. We're not just about award-winning shows, apps, and games. We're breaking new ground. Here are a couple of famous brand names, Sony and PlayStation. I understand PlayStation is something that video gamers know all about, and I know nothing. The Smurfs are here, and it looks like they have their own booth. New movie, December 2024. Cute. Apparently there's a character called Miffy, and Miffy is here, and here are products using, I guess, <laughs> the Miffy character. Well, they're cute little rabbits. I remember this booth from in the past, and I was surprised then and surprised now that Saturday Evening Post is a brand even though the magazine, I don't believe, is still in business. Wow, they've got lots of uh, pictures and maybe even a couple of customers. The big booth name is Funko, and everyone is a fan of something. Funko Brands, and they were smart. They installed a bunch of benches for tired convention walkers. The favorite character staring right at me is Peanuts. Gosh, that character's been around a while and very popular. I wonder if they're giving away any Peanuts. And they're across from an MGM, another MGM exhibit with killer clowns from outer space. And another character I'm familiar with Pink Panther. Here is the matchmaking lounge, and I'm told it's about pre-arranged meetings, and I was here when 
one man on the right and a woman on the left were here actually looking for each other and they found each other here. Now I don't know why Angry Birds is here in the, in the corner of the booth, but they all stopped by the Invent Help booth because I was curious about what they're doing. Virtual Invention Browsing Experience. Uh, InventHelp has offices all over the country and folks with new inventions, I guess, hire them to promote their product. And here at this show, um, inside the, I don't know, bubble there, um, people who are interested in new products can come in and browse and perhaps find something they like, license it, pay the inventor, and off we go. An interesting folding screen and interesting art on it. Well, here's the front of that Universal booth. And they have Felix the Cat was here. And look at all these various characters. United by love. All happy characters. We all know the Crayola brand. And they have a huge poster here where <laughs> the gentleman is making his call. So I suppose you could have Crayola brand towels and toys, etc. If you were once a famous model, you can license your name. And this is the Kathy Ireland booth. Very pretty lady. Please enjoy Licensing Expo. It is truly a world-class event with unrivaled genius one demonstration of which you are experiencing at this very moment. It would be a joy to speak with you personally about every sector of our brand, from fashion, home, fintech, entertainment, cosmetics, and holograms. This was a surprise. Welcome to Shell, Shell brand. And I was told that Shell is a brand that's very popular in Europe and they have a range of products with the Shell brand on them <laughs> including this scooter I gather okay it's a Shell ride I'll be darned Shell recharging and there are bikes and they say, your brand license partner. Here are a series of private offices, all with names on them. This one happens to be King Features, and you can see Popeye on the wall there. So Marks Associates, Inc., a licensing and marketing agency, is the representation for the brands. And they have a lot of brands mentioned here and a number of giveaways, none of which are chocolate, so I'm not interested. Yeah, creative art, licensing for wall art, tableware, stationery, fabric textiles, bedroom decor, bath accessories, home accessories, packaging, and holiday, whatever that is. It's the pastel booth, and here they show how the art can be used on pillows, purses, etc. Well, did you know Bigfoot was the original monster truck and um, Bigfoot is here and here and here. Well, we know about the members only brand and they are here. There's a big licensing U theater here, but uh, classes are over at the moment, but quite a big theater. Wouldn't you know it, Real Housewives is a brand. The sign says brands that tell a story, and here is an example, the National Wildlife Federation. Well, here's a number of brands I recognize Zorro, Tarzan, Fun with Spot, I remember reading about Spot in, uh, what, first grade? And the Snowman and Cupy, the Little Prince, cute display, and 
customers. Neon NATO uh, is part of a very colorful exhibit here with cute characters. This stroller is a Mexican company. I remember them. They were very colorful before. And <laughs> I love you. And the entry sign translated says, do not enter if you have an angry face. So look how colorful and cute. We have another booth. MLB Major League Baseball players, a lot of them here. Another sports star, Shaq, and this is called Shaq's Garage. A popular player, Shaquille O'Neal. PDS Equipment is here with uh, the kind of equipment that the gentleman here says can print on anything. We're talking about glass, um, aluminum, and they have an office here in Henderson. Do you have machines there? Yes, or? we have a full demo center. So if anybody's interested in learning more about our machines, you can contact us or just search PDS equipment on the internet. You'll find us all over the place. And we'd be glad to bring you guys in, do live demos and testing for you. Okay, what is a machine like this if you just buy one? <laughs> this is a UV printer. This machine's around $40,000 fully installed. That's us coming in, installing it, doing training, the whole deal. Okay, all right. This bigger model over here, the 7151, it's around $65,000. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Um, hopefully the economy will come back and branded items will be well, <laughs> important been, and you'll sell lots of machines. We've had a, last year was a record year for us. Oh, it was? I'll be darned. Because a lot of people was importing stuff from China. A lot of those supply lines was disrupted, so our customers are producing more products in the States now. Okay, good. Thank you for that information. Yes, Here's a brand I wasn't familiar with, Garbage Pail Kids. Looks like they have a lot going on. Garbage pail kits. Yes, we've heard of Monster Jam, and they have <laughs> a big old truck that's moving around I, with people in it. I can't tell. There's some stuff shaking. <laughs> I wasn't familiar with Ultraman, but he seems to be here. And looks like you can get an Ultraman jacket somewhere. More cute little kids and nine story brands. And there's a big kid, tired and sitting down. And a dog, Clifford. I think I knew about Clifford the dog. And somebody named Lou in there. Here's another exhibitor, Pocket Watch. And they have drawings on the side of their booth. Are you familiar with Pocket Watch? I was. Global Merchandising Services has on display this shirt, which I can't quite read, and this one. Well, here we have Dragon Ball couple of muscular guys. I'm not quite sure what Dragon Ball is, but young folks must know. And here's the dragon. Goes all the way up to the ceiling and comes down. Apparently I have to be a customer to go in, but I can see the dragon anyway. The dragon booth is Toei, T-O-E-I animation since 1956. Well, I see the initials NFL, and here I see a character with Kansas City on the headband. Cute character, number 15. Here's pocket watch and a pocket watch t-shirt. Tokidoki is a Japanese-inspired brand with an Italian artist and an Indian fellow 
manning the booth and talking to customers. So talk about a worldwide um, experience. It's here at Toki Doki. I have to say, these pillows are adorable. And if I had a young child, and if I had a bedroom for that young child, I would buy such pillows. This is the Sonic Sega. I can't quite tell what brand we're talking about here, but are they cute? How is this for a backpack? Here's the model, and here's the backpack with the big face. I love it. Pokemon is here, and he's right across from Crunchy Roll, whatever that is. <laughs> I like Crunchy Rolls myself. Lots of cardboard characters here, and behind them is a brand called Demon Slayer. So I'm not quite sure whether they're all slayers or people who've been slayed or just what. Right next door to the pillows are a couple of uh, folks modeling clothes and skateboards and masks with brands. Oh my goodness, I hope those don't need to be around very long. Anybody like chess? This chess board seems to be here all by itself, maybe waiting for folks to play. There's no one here to explain, but the sign says Alaska Rescue Team, and here are the folks under the sign. This is Sushmellows, and I think they have some relationship to marshmallows. They look a little puffy. Um, they are my final um, booth visit at this show, the licensing show. I love this show. I like all of the color and all of the cartoons and all of the happiness. You know, you don't see these these characters not smiling and not looking cute. So these days, when the news isn't always good, it's fun to be here and see so many happy faces. Farewell.